Captain. Wonderful sights to see way down below. Flying in airplanes feels safe for the most part, but don't get too comfortable, because sometimes these big birds lose balance and come crashing. Roger that. Advise Salt Lake I'm going to VFR and 1,000 on top. From treacherous mountain peaks to the depths of the ocean floor, these lost flights will baffle you. Today, we'll be counting down 25 crashed airplane discoveries that will blow your mind. Number one, Air France 447. Our journey starts with the mysterious crash of Air France Flight 447. On June 1st, 2009, AF-447 was en route from Rio de Janeiro to Paris. The flight was on board with 228 people, including passengers and all crew members who believed it was going to be just another flight. Three and a half hours into the flight, the pilots started sensing something wrong with the aircraft. Due to the inconsistent airspeed readings, both co-pilots Pierre Cédric Bonin and David Robert had to turn to manual flying. They were both inexperienced at manually flying at altitude, and this takeover did more harm than good. The plane kept rolling from left to right until it crashed into the Atlantic. It took around five days to find the first major wreckage and two bodies from the sea, and some were never found. Number two, TWA Flight 800. Falling victim to a missile is scary, just as it is, but falling victim to a missile in the sky, that's straight out of a nightmare. On July 17, 1996, TWA Flight 800, which was a Boeing 747, took off from New York City as an overnight flight to Paris. Only 12 minutes into the flight, we heard the final message from the cockpit before the aircraft exploded at an altitude of about 13,700 feet. The center section of the airplane fell first, then the forward fuselage, and finally the wings and the remainder of the fuselage. All 230 people on board died in the tragic crash. The US government later revealed that a mixture of fuel and air had ignited within a fuel tank, but private investigators discovered that there was more to this story, and it was actually a missile that caused the accident. The real cause? still remains a mystery. Number three, Helios Airways. Flight 522. Helios Airways Flight 522, also known as the Ghost Flight, crashed near Grammatico, Greece, on August 14, 2005. This was a mysterious case of hypoxia, which is confusion and suffocation, caused by low levels of oxygen in your body tissues. Five minutes after takeoff, the aircraft's cabin altitude warning alarm went off, and the flight crew made the rookie mistake of ignoring it. It came at the cost of 121 lives. The captain was slumped unconscious over the controls. A flight attendant decided to take over and directed the plane away from Athens to prevent any ground casualties. A true hero, if you ask me. Number four, Malaysia Airlines. Flight MH370, the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines. Flight MH370 remains one of the greatest mysteries of all time. On March 8, 2014, this passenger jet took off from Kuala Lumpur en route to Beijing. Within less than an hour of takeoff, air traffic control lost all contact with the aircraft crew and the plane disappeared into thin air. No signs, no warnings, just gone with a poof. Searches for the missing craft began, and the first piece of debris was found more than a year later, in July 2015. Investigators ruled the cause to be a faulty cable, but the conspiracy theories about this jet will definitely keep you up at night. These bizarre theories include hijacking, pilot suicide, and much, much more. Number five, TWA, Flight 2 and United Airlines, Flight 718. I know you've seen numerous headlines about pileups on the freeway, but have you ever heard of one in the sky? This plane crash, or in this case, crashes, will absolutely blow your mind. On June 30th, 1956, 
Two planes took off from Los Angeles International Airport, a United Airlines Douglas DC-7 headed to Chicago, and a Transworld Airlines Lockheed L-1049 Super Constellation on its way to Kansas City. Due to miscommunication with air traffic control, both flights crashed in a tragic accident, taking the lives of all 128 passengers and crew on board both flights. But this ended up in an invention that made sure a collision accident between planes never happened again. Number 6. Pan Am Flight 103 Airport security makes it impossible to travel with a full-size bottle of shampoo, but back in the day, someone managed to sneak in a bomb that not only took the lives of 259 people on board, but also 11 on the ground. On December 21, 1988, the Boeing 747 exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland. A time-activated bomb was hidden in a suitcase in the cargo hold and went off mid-air at a height of approximately 31,000 feet. It was later discovered that two Libyan intelligence agents were responsible for the tragic incident. This discovery ended up increasing the fear of terrorism in Americans as they were the ones on board the plane. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why we have strict TSA laws today. So goodbye to that shampoo bottle. Number seven, Eastern Airlines Flight 980. Eastern Airlines Flight 980 crashed into Mount Illimani in Bolivia on January 1st, 1985. But the cause of this crash still remains a big mystery. Get this, the mostly empty Boeing 727 was headed from Asuncion, Paraguay to Miami with stopovers in Bolivia and Ecuador and only 29 passengers on board. The flight was only 30 miles away from the airport before it went missing and plowed straight into a mountain. And that was all that we ever saw of it, well, until at least 2016. Yeah, it took 30 years to crack this mystery when two friends from Boston took up the challenge. The crash was attributed to controlled flight into terrain due to navigational errors and poor weather, but I guess we'll never know for sure. Number eight, Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571. The discovery of the Uruguayan Air Force 571 was one of the craziest discoveries of all time. On October 13, 1972, a plane with a group of young men crashed in a remote part of the Andes, and by some miracle, passengers made it out alive. Well, only to find themselves fighting for their lives in the snow for 72 days before they were rescued from the wreck. Which means there was no food for the survivors. So how did they make it 72 days? If you have a light stomach, you might want to skip ahead a bit. The survivors revealed that they had to eat the dead bodies of those who failed to make it out alive. At the end, 16 survivors were rescued. Number 9. Malaysia Airlines Flight MH17 Malaysia Airlines Flight MH17 was met with a tragic fate when it was shot down over eastern Ukraine on July 17, 2014. This plane, carrying 298 Dutch citizens as passengers, got caught up in the crossfire between Russia and Ukraine. The aircraft was struck by a buck surface-to-air missile fired from territory controlled by pro-Russian separatists. It was May Day without warning. Flights have often found themselves victim to war crimes, and the next one on the list is no different. Number 10, Air India Flight 182. Santa couldn't save Christmas when Air India Flight 182 was destroyed by a bomb on June 23, 1985, over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Ireland. This passenger plane was en route from Montreal to London with 329 people on board, all trying to make it home for Christmas. Only 45 minutes away from its destination, the jet went missing without any warning. It was later discovered that a bomb planted by Sikh militants was hidden in a suitcase and exploded mid-flight, tearing the plane apart in pieces. Number 11, Japan Airlines, Flight 123. On August 12, 1985, Flight 123 was 12 minutes into its trip 
from Haneda Airport to Osaka when the rear bulkhead at the back of the plane loudly exploded. That explosion was the start of chain reactions that made the pilots lose all control, costing the lives of 520 people. The flight crashed into Mount Takamagahara, but the biggest tragedy of the incident was how long it took rescuers to reach the crash site, 14 hours. Only four people survived the tragic crash, but it was revealed that more people could have made it if the rescuers arrived sooner with aid. The plane crashed due to a mechanical failure resulting in one of the deadliest plane crashes of all time. Number 12. Air France Flight 4590. On July 25, 2000, the City of Love became the City of Flames when Air France Flight 4590, the flight of a Concorde supersonic airplane, crashed in Gonesse, a suburb of Paris. The airplane went down in flames almost immediately after takeoff and took the lives of 109 people on board and four on the ground. This event was a bookend to all Concorde operations in 2003. The flight was on its way to New York City, with German tourists on their way to soak up the sun in a Caribbean-bound cruise ship in New York City. Little did they know they were never going to make it. The Big Bird makes traveling around the world as easy as it can get, but it doesn't take much for it to go crashing into the ground or burn up in flames. Number 13. American Airlines, Flight 191. On May 25, 1979, Chicago O'Hare International Airport saw one of the worst aviation disasters of all time. American Airlines, Flight 191, which was a McDonnell Douglas DC-10, crashed shortly after takeoff when the left engine detached. The flight was bound for Los Angeles, and all 258 passengers and 13 crew members on the aircraft, including two individuals at the site, lost their lives. When you're on an airplane, the last thing anyone wants is the engines coming off. Number 14, Tenerife Airport Disaster. The Tenerife Airline Disaster was the runway collision of two Boeing 747 passenger airplanes in the Canary Islands on March 27, 1977, a dark day in aviation history. Both planes involved in the crash had been scheduled to depart from Las Palmas on the island of Gran Canaria. However, due to a terrorist bombing there earlier in the day, the planes were diverted to the small Los Rodeos Airport on the island of Tenerife. Due to miscommunication, both the aircraft crashed and burst into flames. This disaster resulted in the death of 580 people, making it one of the deadliest ones in history. Number 15, Avianca Flight 52. The chances of you getting in a plane crash are one in 11 million. However, the 73 passengers on board the Avianca Flight 52 defied the odds. Avianca Flight 52 crashed in Cove Neck, New York on January 25, 1990, after running out of fuel due to a series of miscommunications and misunderstandings. Yeah, as tragic as it sounds, flights can run out of fuel mid-air, or at least they did back in the day. The Boeing 707 was en route to John F. Kennedy International Airport, but was short of a few gallons of fuel, which resulted in a deadly disaster. Number 16, Korean Airlines Flight 007. You're pretty much on top of the world when you're in an aircraft, but you can't let the euphoria of flying high make you stray into restricted areas because that results in deadly disasters. Korean Airlines Flight 007 was shot down by a Soviet fighter jet on September 1st, 1983, after it made its way into restricted airspace. The Boeing 747 crashed into the Sea of Japan, killing all 269 passengers and crew. You know what they say, don't lose sight of your maps. In October 1983, the Soviets discovered the plane's black box, but kept its recovery secret. One of the biggest mysteries 
was why the plane had strayed so far from its scheduled route. Number 17, United Airlines Flight 93. September 11, 2001, began as an ordinary late summer day, but soon became one of the most tragic days in history. United Airlines Flight 93 was one of the four planes hijacked during the September 11 terrorist attacks. This plane didn't arrive at the intended target because of the selfless and courageous actions of the 40 passengers and crew members on board. By using air phones on the plane, the passengers learned about the first two attacks and decided to take control and stop a third one from crashing into the nation's capital. All 44 people on board were killed, but left behind a legacy that will never be forgotten. If you want to know more about this one, there's a whole movie about it too, called Flight 93. Number 18. Ethiopian Airlines, Flight 302. Ethiopian Airlines, Flight 302, a Boeing 737 MAX, crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa on March 10th 2019, killing all 157 people on board. But there was a whole other story to its crash. Now the tragedy was linked to issues with the aircraft's maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, which is responsible for giving false signals, making the crash inevitable, and taking the lives of all 157 people on board. However, this incident came after another 737 MAX had just crashed under the same circumstances which raised the shocking possibility that the latest model from the world's most venerable jet manufacturer was unsafe. The wreckage of this tragic flight was driven into the soil up to 30 feet deep, making it extremely hard for the rescuers to find the remaining bodies. Number 19. Swiss Air Flight 111, Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean near Nova Scotia on September 2nd, 1998, after an in-flight fire. Swiss Air Flight 111 was a regularly scheduled flight from New York City to Geneva. It was known as a United Nations Airbus because many of the passengers on board were UN workers returning to the organization's headquarters, which thickens the plot of this crash. The wreckage was discovered from the ocean floor, and it was discovered that the fire was caused by faulty wiring in the in-flight entertainment system. But with all UN members on board, what could have been the odds of the big bird going down? Number 20. Gold Transports Aereos. Flight 1907. Private jets aren't only a threat to our environment for their ridiculous amounts of carbon emission, but they're also a threat to big planes that can collide with them. Wait till you hear this one. The Gold Transportes Aereos Flight 1907 collided mid-air with a business jet over the Amazon rainforest on September 29, 2006. Here's what baffled everyone. Against all odds, the business jet landed safely. It was later revealed that the business jet and the passenger flight had collided, but their contact was so brief that neither crew ever saw the other. 154 passengers and crew lost their lives in the tragic incident. Number 21. Adam Air Flight 574. The worst kind of crashes are the ones discovered on the ocean floor because you can only salvage so much once it's under the water. Adam Air Flight 574 crashed into the Makassar Strait in Indonesia on January 1, 2007, due to the pilot's mistake and instrument failure. One minute, the plane was in the sky. The next, it was gone. For days, searchers scouring both on land and in the water found no trace of the plane. The Boeing 737's wreckage was discovered on the ocean floor. The black box recovery revealed that the pilots got so busy troubleshooting a navigation error that they stopped paying attention to the plane, resulting in the tragic incident. Number 22, Egypt Air Flight 990. On October 31, 1999, Egypt Air Flight 990 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Massachusetts, killing all 217 people on board. 
More than 70% of the Boeing 767's wreckage was recovered from water, but further investigations have caused a stir. The NTSB concluded that the crash was caused by the deliberate actions of the co-pilot, however, Egyptian authorities shushed all claims and blamed it on mechanical failure. What actually happened remains a mystery. Number 23. German Wings Flight 9525 There's no doubt in the findings of this next crash. This time, the co-pilot actually crashed the plane on purpose. On March 24, 2015, the German Wings Flight 4U9525 took off from Barcelona Airport in Spain, heading for Dusseldorf, Germany, with 150 people on board. Little did they know, the pilot had some other things in mind for landing. Everything was going smoothly until the captain told the co-pilot he was leaving the cockpit and asked him to take over radio communications. That's when things went south, literally. The plane crashed into the French Alps, killing all those on board. This tragic incident led to the thorough evaluations of a pilot's mental health. Number 24, Lamia Flight 2933. Here's another incident of flights running out of fuel mid-air. The Lamia Flight 2933 took off from Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia, en route to Medellin, Colombia, carrying the Chapecoense football team. They were heading to the cup final of the 2016 Copa Sudamericana. However, due to fuel exhaustion, Lamia Flight 2933 crashed near Medellin, Colombia on November 28, 2016, wiping an entire football team off the face of the planet. Only six of the 77 people on board survived. Number 25, British Airways Flight 5390. On June 10, 1990, as passengers were preparing to board British Airways Flight 5390 from Birmingham to Malaga, unbeknownst to the tragedy that awaited them. This incident made headlines when the cockpit window blew out mid-flight, causing the captain to be partially sucked out of the aircraft. Against all odds, Captain Timothy Lancaster survived 20 minutes, sucked out of the airplane and landed the plane safely, saving the lives of all 81 passengers and his crew. Number 26. Southern Airways. Flight 242. A little weather and hail don't cause much harm, but when you're thousands of feet up in the sky, it can be deadly. On April 4th, 1977, Southern Airways Flight 242 took off from Huntsville, Alabama on its way to Atlanta, but could only make it to Sadie Burkhalter Hurst's backyard in New Hope, Georgia. The DC-9 attempted an emergency landing on a highway, but ended up crashing, killing 72 people on board and eight on the ground. Note to self, never get on a plane during thunderstorms. Number 27, Air India Express Flight 812. Air India Express Flight 812 overshot the runway and crashed on May 22, 2010, while landing at Mangalore International Airport in India. The Boeing 737 broke through the airport boundary and plummeted into a gorge, killing 158 of the 166 people on board. It was later revealed that the pilot fell asleep on the controls leading to the disastrous incident. Number 28, Turkish Airlines Flight 981. You know what they say, don't mess with doors on an airline. Turkish Airlines Flight 981 crashed in the Ermenonville Forest near Paris on March 3rd, 1974, after a cargo door failure led to explosive decompression. You heard that right. The McDonnell Douglas DC-10 lost control and all 346 people on board were killed. It was later revealed there were flaws in the design of the door which led to significant design changes and improved safety measures in aircraft manufacturing. Number 29, Garuda Indonesia, Flight 200. Here's something to not do on an airplane. Don't ignore your co-pilot's instructions. 
Garuda Indonesia Flight 200 crashed while landing at Addis Ucipto International Airport in Yogyakarta on March 7, 2007. The Boeing 737 overran the runway and burst into flames, killing 21 passengers on board. Investigations revealed that the captain continued the landing at an excessively high speed and ignored the co-pilot's warnings to abort, resulting in the deadly crash. The captain didn't even inform the tower. Number 30, Alaska Airlines. Flight 261. Alaska Airlines Flight 261 met a tragic end on January 31, 2000, when the MD-83 aircraft crashed into the Pacific Ocean near Los Angeles, California. The flight was en route from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, to Seattle, Washington, with a scheduled stop in San Francisco. The plane crashed due to a mechanical failure and claimed the lives of all 88 people on board, including the cabin crew. So that's all I have for you today. Did any of these airplane discoveries blow your mind? Let me know in the comments. Goodbye, see you in the next one.